my spooky babes and ghouls today. We're gonna be filming a midsummer look. Um, it's actually one of my favorite movies from what year did it come out in? 2019. I know like a lot of people hate it, but like also like it's a lot of people like it, so it's just like it's really mixed. Also, if you're under the age of 18, please don't watch this movie because it's very adult. <laughs> but I actually really liked it. Like honestly, when I first watched it in theaters, like I was shocked. Like after leaving theater, I was like, what the f did I just watch? I was just like what was that and I watched like so many like YouTube videos and theories about it and I was like yo this movie is actually interesting I like it also the aesthetics of it it's kind of like a fairy tale but it's also a horror movie at the same time so it's just like yeah I love it so that's what we're doing today we're gonna be recreating the I guess the May Queen um kind of look um also kind of want to dramatize it of course I want to make it look more uh dramatic of course more with more makeup I'm not gonna make myself like look like um the character in the movie Florence Danny her character I'm not gonna make myself look like her, but let's be real, I don't look anything like her. So, um, but I do want to dramatize it. I already made some like little tears out of uh, hot glue. Just kind of like how I did my uh, crying Mary or my weeping Mary look I did like several years back. Um, kind of like that same thing. I'm gonna go for that same vibe. I'm gonna make my face look like I'm crying. So, so yeah, so I guess that's the vibes we're going for. Um, probably gonna be like a neutral cut crease, kind of like similar to the, the weeping Mary look that I did. So, yeah, I guess let's dive into it. Okay, so I'm using the Amrezy palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then we're going to be diving into the shade Wasted first. Um, I like to use this as a base shade, just to get my eyeshadow base, so it'll be easier and seamlessly blend together. Okay, so next we're diving into the shade OG, and I'm basically going to be shaping my crease um, with this shade. Of course, I have hooded eyes, and what I'm going for won't work on my natural eyes, my eyelids, so I'm basically gonna be creating like a faux cut crease. Um, I'm gonna be drawing or like basically drawing them on higher than my actual creases. I mean, of course, if you watch my other videos in the past, you probably noticed how to do that. So, if you guys have hooded eyes, this will work best for you. But if your eyelids are big, your eyes pop out, or like your eyelids are bigger and have more space, then I would suggest maybe following your eyelid. Unless you want to go for like a way more dramatic look, then I say do it, you know, do you, whatever. <laughs> into the shade New Yorker and be adding this to darken my faux crease basically um, and blending out. Okay, so next we're going to be darkening the crease using the shade 1988 and be applying it with a small crease brush. This one is the A14 brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Might even blend it out just a tiny bit as well. Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and I'll be using this to cut my crease. We don't need too much. Just need like a little dollop like that. Um but yeah, so basically um I'm not sure if y'all noticed but I had uh, brought the dark eyeshadow up to like the kind of corners to like make my eyes look kind of more slanted like as if like I'm crying, you know, like I don't know, it's like it's the same kind of shape I did for my uh, weeping Mary look basically, just to make it look more dramatic, you know, just so that way the eyes pop up more and look more sadder. Um so yeah, so I'm basically creating Cutting the crease in that shape, I'm gonna go higher and then slant it downwards, if that makes sense. Wasted onto the negative space in the eyelid um, just to kind of give it a base. I might even add a little bit of shimmer in this after applying this, but um, this is basically the first shade that we use to uh, set as a base for the eyes. Okay, so I do want to give this a little bit of shimmer, so I'm using the shade Anastasia. I'm playing it my finger and kind of like dabbing it onto my eyelid or just rubbing it on, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so next underneath the eyes, I'm applying the shade Wasted OG in New Yorker. 
um, and play them all individually and then play all blend them all out together. Um, I just kind of want like an, a light under eye, nothing too dark. If I want to, or if I want to darken it later on, maybe I'll add 1988, but for now I just want to keep it light. Brows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen in the shade dark brown. But the actress's brows are really dark, so I think it'll match perfectly with mine. I'm probably gonna be throwing on a blonde wig later on, so maybe I can at least you know capture that vibe. But um, I'll put a picture on the screen. I, I, barely, I haven't shown a picture on the screen yet of like the character. Maybe I'll show it earlier in the video, but I just forgot to mention that. But I'll put one up here so we all can see the shape of our brows. And I mean, I could forcibly do that with my brows, but honestly, I don't want to be holding that face for very long. And just like with the Weeping Mary one I did, I shape my eyebrows to make it look like I'm sad, like I'm crying, and my eyebrows are kind of scrunched up, and they're just like, you know. So I'm gonna be doing that with the same look, with this look as well. Uh, but we're using the Ansassi Beverly Hills Brow Pen. And I really do like this product, it's one of the new products they had sent me. Honestly, um, it does take me longer to do my brows with this thing because like, I want to get like little thin hair like strokes and it does make my brows look more realistic because if you know like I don't really have most of my brows because I always pluck them all off because I don't like my natural brow shape so yeah <laughs> but um, honestly this is probably taking me the longest in this makeup look so far tonight. <laughs> Everything else has been really simple and easy to do. Okay, so next we're adding some mascara onto my lashes. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Bag Mascara. Um, yeah, some fine mascara on. <laughs> Okay, so I got mascara on my face, but I'm still gonna dry out because like once when you let mascara dry out, it won't like smear. So not meant to be in your skin, so it will come off. But um, so next we're gonna be contouring. I'll be using the Lunatic Cosmetics Contour Palette, and I'm gonna contour my face. Um, see, I kind of want to like contour my face to look more like the characters, like the actresses. Her, her face, her face looks shorter. Like her face looks shorter than mine. My, my face looks longer. I always thought my face wasn't that long, but I guess compared to this girl, I mean, that makes this picture look shorter. But um, I don't know how to do that really, it's just like without adding like too much crazy contour. I'm gonna contour like lightly on my cheekbones and I'm just contour my jawline just a little bit just to make it like maybe appear smaller. We're gonna be diving into these warm shades right here, especially this one. If I have to use this one, I will, but that's mainly if I want it to look a little darker. But we'll see. I think I just mainly use the lighter color. the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Hudson. Basically, I'm gonna draw one to make it look like I'm frowning my lips. Um, I'm gonna draw the corners down and also th these corners down as well so that we didn't meet. Oh, I'll put a picture again on the screen so that y'all can see. I mean, of course, I could probably make that face, but I just want to like dramatic, like at least like make it dramatize it as well. But also make it to where I don't have to like, be frowning a lot because I don't like doing that. Especially like kind of when, especially when I'm taking pictures or um video clips for the beginning, the intro and outro. But yeah, so I'll be drawing them on with uh, a lip brush. I'm not sure this is actually is a lip brush, but I use it for my lips and also concealer as well. We're like going to do cut creases. But this is the number three brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Of course, you can use a concealer brush from any brand or lip brush, whatever.
the fun part and I think it's gluing on the tears. If you want to, you could draw mine um, if you don't have a hot glue gun or hot glue laying around. But um, if you do have a hot glue gun laying around, it totally makes some tears. It's really easy to make. You just kind of squeeze the gun, let some glue out, and then just kind of drag it out so that way it makes a tear. I do this on either wax paper or parchment paper works. Um, but even like a matte surface would work as well. And then of course when it dry, you just peel them off. But I'm gluing these on with eyelash glue. I mean, you could also use liquid latex if you have it laying around. But eyelash glue, it, most a lot of people have eyelash glue laying around, so I would totally recommend this. And also, just it, it keeps them on pretty well too. believe it, I almost forgot this but I need I'm gonna put some flash on my nose also I feel like I'm talking funny because I can't really move my face that much because I don't want to like actually need like unglue these I don't know I don't want to move my face too much but anyway so yeah we're gonna be applying some blush this is a Tokidoki Todatu's part uh, this is no longer available because this palette is very very old since like middle school old so yeah but um, I like it. You can use any kind of shimmery blush you have. I feel like a shimmer would be nice because, like, you know, you've been crying, or the character's been crying, and of course your nose is gonna get all red, and it's gonna be all shiny from, like, the crying and all, like, you know, just, you know, all the liquids coming in your nose while you're crying, and it just gets everywhere, or, like, the tears. So, yes, yeah, so I feel like this would be a perfect blush um, to make it look like you've been crying. At least on your nose, you know. I, at least my nose turns really red and I cry. I look like Rudolph the frickin' re red nose reindeer and I cry. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I was thinking of putting on lashes, but then as I was trying on like a bunch of different styles, I just realized that it kind of takes away from the look. I don't know, it just looks too... It just looks too glam, I guess. I don't know, even though I am going for dramatic, I feel like lashes won't go great with this look. I don't think I even added lashes to my Weeping Mary look as well, because I felt like they took them out, took away from the look, so... No lashes today, but I mean, if you guys f want to do lashes, and feel free, I mean, do whatever you do, you know, you do you. But personally, for me, I think lashes will just take away from this look, I don't know. I feel like I like it a lot better without the lashes, for once. Usually I like adding lashes to every single look, but... This one, not this time, not, no, no, not this time. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm here back to you guys. I'm gonna change into my costume and I'll tell you all about it and I'm back to you guys. Alrighty, so that is it for today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I had a ton of fun creating this and I think you exactly how I imagined it to be. I mean, really wasn't much of like of a crazy makeup look. Yeah, um, off topic, but uh, I kind of brought my cat to my boyfriend's house and that's because he's been living at my grandparents' house for like over 10 years. Um, he was, you know, we found him with the kit in there and you know he li he's lived there practically his whole life and he's a scaredy cat so like adjusting to this new environment has been scary for him <laughs> uh he's really shy but he's kind of coming around now i mean i did he did run out, he did go out of our bedroom the other night and went exploring and i found him in his brother's room my boyfriend's brother's room um so yeah, so i guess he's finding him comfortable here but it's not a good thing because we also have a pit bull in the house and he likes chasing cats so no, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't need him. So, I really like this. So, um, I kind of want to tell you guys about my the costume pieces I made. Um, basically, um, I had this like little like white top on it. It's kind of like ruffly. I found it at the store, like, uh, I don't know when. Like, maybe like a couple years ago. Year, two, two years ago, maybe. And basically, I just pinned a bunch of flowers to it. Um, there's some empty spaces. I took some flowers off for another project that I was doing for a video. But also same thing with the head crown. I used mostly same flowers, but then I had to go and buy some more flowers from so Dollar Tree. So I mean, I had like, I had a bunch of flowers laying around in my house. I mean, my grandma collects like a bunch of like these plastic flowers to do arrangements and stuff. But I kind of stole some, so whoopsie. But uh, let's not tell her that. But uh, um, I borrowed them. Okay. I don't think they'll go back, but like, yeah, I guess I stole them. But um, basically everything like clothing wise is thrifted. The skirt I'm wearing is thrifted. I'm not sure if I'll show it or not. Um, in the intro outro i'm not sure but i am wearing like a long white maxi white skirt probably made on cotton thrifted that the top is thrifted and everything else i made 
I pinned all the flowers to this top, and you can see some of the safety pins. Like, I used to make really big safety pins until I ran out of them, and I had to buy some more from Dollar Store. Um, but yeah, the Dollar Store is your best friend, especially for making Halloween props or Halloween costume props, stuff like that. And of course, you can always put them together or make them even better. So yeah, I totally recommend that. I mean, of course, obviously, if you have flowers hanging around, totally make a flower crown. All I did was, like, I kind of twisted all the wires together, and also hot glued a lot of the pieces onto the crown, or like, onto the wires. Or I cut them off, like, or pulled them off of the the wires, you know, the plastic ones, like, they had, they were, like, attached to, like, these green wires or whatever. Um, I just pulled them off and, like, hot glued them onto the crown. Some of them did fall off right now when I was putting it on, but there were, like, many on the side and the back, so no one's really gonna see that. But yeah, I think this is really fun. I kind of want to wear this for Halloween because, like, of how hard I worked on it. I mean, it wasn't that hard, actually, to be honest. kind of wish I filmed my process of, like, making the flower crown and stuff, but I just didn't feel like it. Actually, technically, I did start creating the flower crown like last November so it's been it's almost like a year um that I was I've been working on this like I wanted to film this like after Halloween last year but I was like no I'll just save it for next Halloween and I kind of wish I filmed it earlier but um I'm also happy I'm filming it now so <laughs> but uh, yeah a lot of flowers that's all you need for this white shirt and a long maxi skirt simple as that you don't have to get have a blonde wig if you have blonde hair it's cool or you can use natural hair you know whatever <laughs> but I think this is a really Perfect Halloween um, costume. It's really fun and easy to do, especially makeup wise. Um, you could just buy all these flowers at the dollar store. So yeah, <laughs> and of course you can also find like all the the, other, the rest of the clothing thrifting as well. If you do, if you look hard enough, just find like a white shirt. It doesn't have to be exactly like the one I have. Just you know anything kind of white. And of course you can either glue or pin flowers to it. I pin flowers to this because I want to. I like wearing the shirt. So <laughs> yeah. But it's a really good movie, um, I mean, people will probably fight me about that, or argue, like, oh no, it's so confusing, or oh no, but whatever, I liked it, actually, I did. I mean, at first I was confused by it, I was shocked. Whew, that movie's intense, I'm just gonna say it's intense, especially the beginning scene is intense. Whew. That, that kind of freaked me out. I also want to kind of recreate her sister, but I'm not sure if that would be triggering. In a way, I mean, uh, I don't really want to spoil the movie, but it also is in the beginning movie, but I still want to spoil it. But also, but it's really triggering. Like, if you guys have seen the movie, um, it's triggering, like, in a way. <laughs> it's like, it's sad, it's haunting, it's like, oh god. But yeah, I kind of want to recreate it, though. But I don't know, I'll have to think about that one, like, really heavily. Or maybe ask my Instagram audience and see, like, what they think. Um, maybe I'll probably put a trigger warning at the beginning in the video. Not this video, but if I ever do make that video, I probably definitely would. <laughs> so yeah, so I think that's enough rambling. I've been talking for a while. My throat's starting to hurt. So that'll be it for today's video. So make sure you leave a like and comment down below. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for more awesome content. Oh, also make sure you check out all my other Halloween videos coming up this year. Subscribe to see all the rest of my other videos and also check out the videos from my past Halloweens from the past couple years I do have some really cool stuff. I did do a really cool Samara video from the ring last year. I really liked it I messed around a lot with the video effects in that video and especially with green screening and stuff I even created the whole like room in the intro on Photoshop I, had, I sketched it out first like I imagined it and I sketched it out and of course I brought to life in Photoshop And then of course with green screen I was able to be in that little room, you know what I mean? So yeah, so definitely check that one out. I think that one's definitely my favorite Halloween video from last year. Also, my Carrie video was also one of my favorites. But, um, the Samara one I worked really hard on. I had been planning. I was planning, I was working on that one for, like, a year prior, before Halloween. Like, I was already, like, thinking about it in my head. And I was like, yeah, I was, like, we're going to do green screen. I'm going to call it a TV screen and stuff. And I had to, like, do a lot of research before doing filming that video. And I did a lot of tests, a green screen test. I had never really used green screen before that video. I mean, I did, like, eventually start using it before the video, like, I had gotten it that summer, and I was already testing it out, but I hadn't really done anything big. So I was doing, like, a lot of tests and stuff, like, it was all trial and, er trial and errors with that video. So definitely need to check it out, I did work my hardest in that video. Check it out, please. So that will be it for today's video, so I hope you guys stay safe and have a wonderful Halloween. And if you do, please do not go out anywhere, don't go to any Halloween parties, I know. Just stay home, watch movies, bake something, eat popcorn, I don't know. That's what I do every year for Halloween, technically. But, uh, but if you do go out, please wear a mask and please social distance. Even if you have to wear a Halloween mask, I, just do it, okay? Just do it. Wear a Halloween mask. Wear a mask underneath it too, but it's gonna get really hot. But I would totally recommend wearing a Halloween mask for sure. <laughs> That'd be so cool. I mean, you look spooky and it'll protect you from the virus. Maybe. Wear a mask underneath it though. <laughs> so yeah, so that'd be it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!